All right, so um, this is my no input VGA feedback synth. Um, I'm going to start off here without the video playing because the demo is a little short. Um, but uh, basically, this is a synthesizer composed of a VGA to composite feed, uh, converter connected to a composite to VGA converter um, in a feedback loop. Um, and then connected to each the red, green, and blue channels of the VGA signal um, are three separate 40106 oscillators that can um, each be individually controlled um, on the instrument. Um, and so since the video is not the highest quality here, I'll go ahead and, and start off here with a, a picture of the front panel of the instrument um, so I can just describe it real quick. Um, on the left side here, you have at the top the knobs for the red, green, and blue color control. Um, below those knobs are the knobs for the amplitude of the red, green, and blue LFOs or oscillators. Below that are the controls for the rate of each of those oscillators. Um, to the right, you have a, a bank of switches. At the top, those first three switches are the red, green, and blue oscillator on-off switches. Um, below that are the three uh, switches for each of the oscillator timing controls. Um, so you have a, a different uh, capacitor controlling the timing of the oscillator based on which direction the switch is pointed in. The low regime is more of uh, scrolling horizontal bars. Um, and the high frequency regime is more of a video rate, like uh, squ squiggly looking lines, crazy, yes. And um, then the bottom three switches there are the uh, controls for the coupling, uh, coupling capacitor for the oscillators. Um, you won't see me use those much in the demo. Um, they don't really seem to have much of an effect, I think. In the next rendition, I'll probably use those switches to control whether the oscillators are grounded or synced to either the horizontal or vertical sync of the VGA signal. Then further over to the right there, um, you have a bunch of push buttons. Um, those control the menu controls for each of the converters, the VGA to composite converter and the composite to VGA converter. Um, and then you'll have red, green, and blue pulse buttons for each of the color channels, um, as well as a switch to power on, um, a switch to bypass the feedback, which we'll go over later in the video, um, as well as two composite jacks, one for the output and one for input. Okay, so now that we have a, a good idea, um, of how this thing works let's let's actually show it in action so let's go ahead and start the video here in the beginning here i'm, I'm messing with those red green and blue color channels you'll notice they they don't necessarily uh control red green and blue um because those converters really shift the the color space um when you're messing with the hue and saturation controls um they're more of like three different color parameters so there I just switched the LFO onto the red channel and I'm kind of dialing in the amplitude of that LFO. And then now I'm controlling the rate with that bottom knob there. Um, looks like I'm trying to get some scrolling bars. Um, you can see them coming in here. Um, and you'll notice you'll have to adjust the, the color somewhat to see the oscillators. Um, sort of in, in the way that you want to see them. Um, they, they, they come up more in the feedback depending on how much each of the, the color channels are dialed in. Now I went and uh, I turned the oscillator onto the green channel and I turned the amplitude all the way up and I just flicked that, that timing switch down. So now it's on that uh, video rate um, timing. You can see it's kind of more like squigglies um, you can get some pretty interesting patterns with these um, oscillators. And like I said, they're not the most stable, but, you know, for for the purpose of generating feedback, you really, the most important thing is that you're able to, like, 
consistently disturb the picture. Um, and these are certainly capable of doing that. So those are the oscillators, and I just went ahead and turned them off and reset it, reset the, the colors kind of back to normal. Now I'll show you, this is the menu controls for the VGA to composite converter. This is the menu you'll be in most of the time. You can get the most control over the color space um, and just the behavior of the feedback um, with these controls. The hue usually controls the speed of the, the scrolling of the colors, whereas the saturation is that color intensity. Um, you can mess with the horizontal and vertical size um, parameters to kind of disturb the feedback into a particular direction that you want it to go, or even shrink it back down, which you'll see later. Um, and then you can also use those uh, arrow buttons for that converter to shift the entire picture. Um, so you see I'm going up, down, right, left, and uh, you can do a lot from a performance standpoint there. And then finally, there's a zoom on there. The first time you press the zoom button, it, it zooms all the way in. Um, so it kind of goes backwards there. And you have to hit the zoom button a few times until you find that sweet spot where you have enough uh, information in the picture to see some feedback. Now I'm messing with the control buttons for the uh, VGA to, or the composite to VGA converter, rather. Um, these controls are only three buttons. There's just a menu button, um, which you, you press um, sequentially to get through the different parameters and then up and down buttons to control the amount of each of those parameters. It's pretty difficult to see on screen, um, but you'll see when I'm messing with it here and later in the video, you can see some small text on the screen. Um, and that that converter, really the only parameters you're going to be concerned with controlling for the most part is, is uh, the hue and saturation on those. And you see, when I'm messing with those, I can really get into a lot of different color spaces. So now I just turned off the oscillators again, and I'm going to show you what it looks like to bypass that feedback signal. I just um, input the Roland V4's output um, into the input of the instrument here. Um, and so essentially the signal chain is now uh, video out of the converter into the Roland V4 mixer um, and the V4 mixer's output is going back into the instrument here um, while also putting its output out to the capture card that you're seeing here. Um, and so when you stick different things in the feedback chain here you can really get a, a, a wide variety of, of different effects um, but depending on what you put into that feedback chain, you'll probably need to kind of dial in the settings of each of the converters again to get a, a desirable effect. So uh, I'll probably go ahead and skip ahead here while I was kind of noodling around looking for that sweet spot with the V4 in the feedback loop. All right, so it looks like we finally got that dialed in there. Um, the feedback's a little jittery um, with my V4 in the feedback loop. My, it's probably my mixer. The V4 tends to do that um, in most feedback loops for whatever reason. But uh, it also seems to create this more hazy, smoky-looking feedback. It's pretty cool. Um, and so, you, as you can see, you know, a, vi a variety of different things that you put into the feedback loop with the feedback settings bypassed on the instrument can get you a wide variety of textures and, and patterns. Um, there's really a lot of possibilities. I'm just kind of demoing what it's capable of here. Um, here I'm driving up the sharpness um, on the VJ to composite converter. Gives you a little more depth to 
those lines um, between each of the colors. And um, yeah, that, that's about it up here. Um, I'm just kind of noodling around here. Um, but I know this wasn't a super in-depth tutorial or anything. I really just wanted to show off the capabilities of this, uh, this guy I developed because um, I do want to keep working on it um, and maybe get it to a point where I can start, you know, designing them for other people. Um, so if you have any other questions or if you want to see anything more in depth on this instrument, just uh, drop a comment below or shoot me a DM. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.